Hello and welcome back to the Crafty Corner. I'm Jenna and I'm here to tell you about the new challenge for the Funky Junkie Challenge Blog. Our new challenge is Back to School. If you would like to join the fun over at the Funky Junkie Challenge Blog, go ahead and click the link down in the description box. As always, we greatly look forward to seeing all of your wonderful creative makes. And if you'd like to join the fun over on Instagram, directions are down in the description box as well. So for the back to school theme, I've decided to create a card inspired by science class. With the release of the Tim Holtz Sizzix Chapter 3 dies, the specimen die set was perfect for our back to school theme. If you'd like to see exactly which materials I'm going to be using for this project, go ahead and pause here. All right, let's head over to the crafty corner. For today's creation, we're going to be creating a card for the theme Back to School. On this card, we're going to be featuring two die sets from the Tim Holtz Sizzix Chapter 3 release. We're going to be looking at the die sets, specimen, and alphanumeric theories. So to start this card, we are going to be creating a base and we're going to be doing that with three different colors of Distress. We're going to be playing with Distress Ink Vintage Photo, Brushed Corduroy, and Distress Oxide Brushed Corduroy. And for our substrate, we are going to be using some Tim Holtz Ranger Watercolor Cardstock. For this card base, we are going to be doing some ink smooshing and splatting. So let's go ahead and get our colors onto the nonstick craft mat. All right, that looks pretty good. And then I'll go in with the distress sprayer. And then we will start swiping and dipping. So I'm going with the smooth side of the cardstock. And here is our initial first dip. That's not bad. I'm going to take a little bit of water and just move that ink around so we have a good start to our foundation. Alright, let's go ahead and dry this off and come back and do some more ink dips. Alright, there's our first layer. Let's go ahead and do one more dip and see what that gets us. Okay, now we're building up some layers. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on fast forward as I continue to dip and layer inks. I'm also going to be pulling in a little bit of ground espresso to add just a little bit of darkness to this. Okay, so here is our background. The next thing I'm going to do is cut this down to size. I'm going to be doing a layered background and for the base layer, I'm going to be using some of the Tim Holtz Ideology worn wallpaper. So first, let's take the worn wallpaper and cut that down to size. This is going to be cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. So just lining this up on the tonic trimmer and quickly slicing. For this piece, I'm going to be cutting this down to three and three quarters by four and a half. So this is going to be our stacked background. Next I want to add a bit of stamping. For stamping I've decided to go into the stamp collection and pull out Inventor 7 CMS 374. Since I'm going for a school theme I decided that I wanted to do something around science. So invention seemed like a perfect addition to our background. 
For stamping, I'm going to be using Distress Archival Black Soot, and I'm pulling in one of the grid blocks. So, just taking the stamp, placing that down, and then we'll ink that up with the large Distress Archival ink pad. So, just tapping that on. I'm going to make sure that I have good coverage. Okay, and we'll just pull our background in, line this up, and stamp. That looks good. Now, just good firm pressure. And there we go. That is good. So I'm just going to attach this to our first layer. Pulling in the ATG gun for a quick adhesive. And line this up and place it. Alright, there is the base of our card. Now let's turn our attention to the main focal point of the card. So for the main focal point, we're going to be working with some slides. These are from Specimen, and we're going to be transforming these into some vintage style slides. Now to do that, the very first thing that we need is going to be some mica tiles. These I found on Amazon, and they are very easy to alter. I have been altering these using some of the Tim Holtz Ranger Alcohol Ink Sepia. Now first, we'll take a tile out of the package. These are really neat. Now, they are in layers. So we want to carefully pull off a layer. Just like that, just very gently. Let's see, I can get two out of this one, so I'll need a second layer. So I'm just going to turn this on the edge and very carefully with my fingers, I'll just work my way around and see where I can pull off another layer. Right. Oh, I have to be really careful with this one, it's a very delicate layer. Okay, that should be big enough. Just barely, but that will work. Okay. And I'll just set the rest of this aside for a later time. Now so that we can see what we're doing, I'm going to be placing down a piece of scrap paper, and then we're going to be using some alcohol ink to give this a more vintage style color. So with some scrap paper, I'll just put the little piece of mica down. And we're going to go in with some alcohol ink. I'm just going to add a few drops on here. And I'm also going to add a dash of blending solution. Like this, the ink is very concentrated, so I want to dilute it just a little bit. And we can do that with the blending solution. And let's tap this down and see how the color is. It's pretty good. So I'm just going to pounce this all over the mica until I'm happy with the color. Okay. Then we'll just set this piece aside and come back to it in a little bit. Take my second piece. Okay. There, I like the look of that. Now I'm going to take one of the slides. 
I'm just going to line this up roughly. Okay, now I'm going to take the tonic mini snips and just very carefully cut around the edges of this. Okay, that's one. Let's do the second one. Okay, good. And the third one. And it's going to be okay if this doesn't completely cover it. That'll just give it a bit more of a grungy look. All right, excellent. Now I'm going to take some collage medium and we're going to very carefully glue these into the slide. So very carefully, I'm just going to add a little bit of collage medium along here. And to the other side. Now taking the piece of mica, I'm just going to gently lay that down. Then I'm going to add a specimen. I have these amazing transparencies from the Tim Holtz Ideology set wing transparencies. And we're going to add these as our specimen to the slide. A tiny bit of glue. Place that down and close the slide. And it's okay if we get a little bit of glue ooze. There, I'll just wipe off a little bit. Good. And that would be our first specimen slide. We're going to add some embellishments to that, but for the time being, let's go ahead and put the rest of this on fast forward as I create the other two slides. Here are the completed slides. Now for the details. So the last thing I want to do with the slides are to add some labels. I decided to go with the die cuts with the little label bands and I die cut from those the word specimen. So on the silver pieces, which is from the Tim Holtz Ideology Silver Cardstock Pack, I have added some double-sided sticky back tape to make this super easy to add. So we'll just peel that off like a sticker, put the frame around the little plaque, and then attach it to the slide. And just like that, nicely layered. Definitely like that. All right, we'll do the other two and then we will add some glue. Nice and easy with the double-sided tape for stacking pieces together. Okay, lined up, that's two, and one more. Okay, again, carefully lining up and placing. Good. 
Let's go in with a bit of collage medium and add it to the slide. Okay, definitely liking. All right, let's do the other two. Bit of collage medium and place. And the last one. And now let's place the last one of these down. Okay, good. Well, let's bring back in our card base and see about placement. I'm not going to place these down just yet. I would like to add some words to our card as well, but let's just get a feel for where these are going to go. All right, I kind of want these to just overlap. Oh, I have a little bit of overhang of something here. Not a big deal. Snip that off. Okay, I think there and then. Perfect. The last thing I'm going to do will be to die cut a few words. And I think I'm going to put the words thoughts and theories. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this next part on fast forward as I die cut some of these letters. This is going to be fun. We've got the ones that are larger, the smaller ones, and we have these little underlines. And I think I'll be using the underlines for the capital letters. So let's go ahead and see how this turns out. Now with all our die pieces cut, let's go ahead and assemble our card. To start with, I'm going to be adding some foam squares to the backs of each of the specimen slides. This is going to add a little bit of lift and dimension to our card. Okay, so I'm going to start with the monarch butterfly in the middle. Just place that there. We'll go in and add the other couple of slides. So this one I'm going to place near the bottom. Let's see. Hmm. There we go. I want to slide that about here. That's looking good. Just want to make sure the edges are neatly aligned. And then this one will slide in over here. Okay, let's place that a little higher up. Oh, that butterfly slid again. Okay, just carefully move that around. And place. Now that all our pieces are die cut, let's go ahead and put the finishing touches on this card. So I decided to die cut the words learn and idea. I love the contrast between the big letters and the smaller letters. It really gives a neat aesthetic to the alphanumeric. Okay. And add the N. These aren't bad size-wise, they are fairly skinny, so I can still fit words into fairly tight spaces. Okay, and there we go. Oh, I've got one crooked letter. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right, and the last one down here idea. Oh, 
up. Somehow this one missed the double-sided sticky tape, but that's okay. I can just add a little bit of collage medium. And there, now I just need one more piece and this will be complete. I just want that little piece at the bottom. There it is. Thank you so much for joining me here today at the Crafty Corner for the new challenge theme, Back to School. Today, we have created a card focusing on science class using the new Chapter 3 Specimen Die Set. If you would like to join the fun, head on over to the Funky Junkie Challenge blog. All the links will be down in the description box. As always, we can't wait to see all of your fantastic makes and hope that you too will join the creative fun. And until next time, happy crafting.